If you're new to my channel and unfamiliar with Gilbert, let me tell you, Gilbert is hot right now. It's booming, it's getting a lot trendier, we're getting more shops, restaurants, a lot of people even call it the new Scottsdale. Before the 90s, Gilbert was actually more of a cow town, but we definitely have seen so much growth, and today we're talking about new construction. So today we're gonna look at five different neighborhoods of new construction here in Gilbert, starting at the lower price point, and then we're gonna progress our way up to one of Gilbert's most prized new neighborhoods. I am Courtney, your local Phoenix realtor, and if you have any questions about relocating to Phoenix or buying or selling your home, reach out. Let's chat. So neighborhood number one that we are going to talk about today is Warner Meadows. So this is on the east part of Gilbert and it's right off of Warner, um, just north of the 202. So this is a master plan community. So there are a lot of amenities. You have a beautiful pool, there's a park, green spaces, there's even a pavilion where you can get some barbecue action going on. So there are four main sections in this master plan community. The one section is actually comprised of townhomes and then the other three sections are single family homes. So these homes are built by the builder Leonard and these townhomes are actually two story townhomes and they all do have two car garages. There are a handful of floor plans available. A lot of these are about 1300 square feet or a little above uh, two to three bedrooms and then two and a half baths. So the ones that are currently for sale or on the market, they are under construction but should be available in the next couple months. So the townhomes, they are starting in the low 400s. So as far as the single family homes, there are a handful left, but most of them have actually been sold and are currently occupied. So the positive thing about this is you won't be dealing with a lot of the construction noise, but you're still getting a new build. So these are single level homes. Um, they're four to five bedrooms. Most of them have three baths and the square footage you're starting around a little over 1700 and then going um, up to about 2000 square feet, depending on the floor plan. The nice thing about the floor plans for these single family homes is it's actually one main open living area with the great room and the kitchen and then the dining area. As far as price range goes, you're starting around $590,000 and then you are going up to $700,000 depending on the floor plan and the finishes. So let's talk about the location of this neighborhood, Warner Meadows. So you're on the very east side of Gilbert and if you go further east, there's not really much there. There's some commercial buildings and then you have these vast open open lots. However, Gilbert just approved this $1 billion project. It's for this mixed use development that's going to happen right east of this neighborhood. And they're going to have restaurants, shops, and of course, a lot of residences there as well. It looks pretty awesome. So even though you may feel that you're on the edge of town right now, in the next handful of years, this is going to change quite a bit. And another thing to know is you're also pretty close to the 202, Highway 202, and then you're only about five minutes away from Santan Village, Epicenter, a lot of these areas that have shopping and restaurants and all your conveniences that you really need in Gilbert. So the second neighborhood we're going to talk about is Fulton at Cooley Station. So this is actually directly south, about two miles south of Warner Meadows. So Cooley Station is a huge master plan community. They actually even have this like town center where there's restaurants and breweries. There's a lot of family events that are going on and Fulton at Cooley Station is really the last area to be built in this master plan community. It has fantastic amenities and is very family oriented. So Fulton at Cooley Station really has two types of homes available. They have what they call a courtyard home and this is technically a single family home because you don't have any shared walls, but the lot size is quite small. Um, so you aren't getting much of a yard, you're getting more of a courtyard. Um, and then as far as the garage goes as well, you do have a shared driveway entrance into your garage. And these are all also two stories. Now the other style of home is more of your traditional single family home with the yard. I will say the lot sizes aren't huge, um, but there are options for both single level homes and two story homes. These homes are pretty decent size. They're about 1900 square feet to 2400 square feet, three to five bedrooms. Currently they do have some move in ready homes. They have homes 
homes that are being built and will be available, you know, in the next handful of months. And then they also have several lots available too. So as far as price goes, the courtyard options, those homes, they're gonna be starting slightly under 600K, depending on the floor plan and the finishes. And if you want that home that's more on its own individual lot and has its own driveway, you're gonna be starting around $625,000 and then moving up from there. Now, if that is a little bit higher than your price point, something to consider too, is there are a lot of homes that already have been lived in in Cooley Station, resale homes that are less expensive than Fulton at Cooley Station. So neighborhood number three is Waterston North. So this is a little bit further Southeast and it is built by TriPoint Homes. This is a gated and it's a very new master plan community. We are getting into slightly more expensive homes and you can probably guess this by just looking at the amenities. Um, they really are gorgeous. The clubhouse is incredible. They have a pool, little lake area, a lot of green spaces. So there's really two sections of Waterston North. The, there's the north part and then the south part. So these are single family homes. You do have 25 different floor plans here, actually. There are one and two story um, floor plans available depending on which section of the neighborhood you are in. So the north part is slightly less expensive. There are a few homes that are slightly over $600,000 and then they do progress up to the 700,000 range. The south part though, you're gonna be closer to that million dollar mark. Overall, the square foot you can start anywhere from like 1800 square feet and then some of the homes you know particularly the homes closer to that million dollar point they're going to be closer to 4,000 square feet the finishes in these homes really are beautiful you have these great granite countertops GE stainless steel appliances there's a lot of smart tech within the home so they do have a couple options of homes that are available now there's a handful that are going to be available in the next coming months and then they do have quite a few that will be available in the springtime and then in in addition to that, next year, they're actually gonna have more construction available in Waterston Central, which, which is surprisingly enough, just south of Waterston North. So even though this neighborhood is further south, you're still only about seven minutes from 202 and then maybe 10 minutes to a lot of the main shopping areas. So neighborhood number four is Atrium at Somerset. So now we're getting into a little bit more of the luxury living in Gilbert. So this is a brand spanking new, a master plan community. It is a much smaller community than the ones that I previously talked about. And there's only about 70 homes available. The thing that is unique about this community is the homes really are more luxury style homes, but they actually have townhomes that's available. So there's a shared wall on the garage side of the house. They also do have some single family homes available, but they are a little bit more expensive. So the amenities here are really incredible. You have these beautiful pickleball courts. Um, there's a clubhouse that should be open in about a month actually gorgeous pool pavilion and this neighborhood is gated so the size of the homes they start about 2100 square feet and then they do progress all the way up to 3600 square feet depending on the model some of them are two bedrooms with an office and then some of the larger count homes and single family homes can be anywhere from three to six bedrooms depending on the floor plan and then the garages you either have an option for a two-car garage or they have a three-car tan garage and as I mentioned we are getting more into that luxury price point so the count homes are actually starting around seven hundred and ninety thousand dollars and then you are looking over a million for a single-family home in this neighborhood so these are technically spec homes but you do have the option to select certain finishes if you do purchase a home that's still under construction before we get to neighborhood number one I do want to mention that there are a few other new build communities and I will list those below in the description but let's get to neighborhood number one the most prized new neighborhood in Gilbert, and this is Stonecrest. So Stonecrest is the ultimate luxury community. It is very intimate. There's only 29 lots, and these lots are a good size. They're about a quarter acre. You are further southeast in Gilbert. You're almost on the border of Queen Creek. So there are five floor plans that you can actually choose from. It really is a gorgeous, incredible community. The finishes are incredible. You can see in some of these videos right here, but it is expensive. So it is 
starting about one and a quarter million dollars and it does go up from there depending on what finishes you select and what upgrades you choose. These are larger homes. You're looking at about 3,500 square feet all the way up to 5,500 square feet. But there are a lot of options for casitas or even a very large garage. They can actually accommodate up to a six car garage. Now, the reason why I'm highlighting new build communities and talking about this on my channel is because currently builders are offering a lot of incentives um, for more of the move in ready homes um, in order to help lower your interest rate. I mean, there's some homes that you can get an interest rate as low as 5%. Now I do talk more about that in this video right here. So definitely check it out. If you are interested in buying a home with a lower interest rate and are open to looking at new build construction. So thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. And if you have found any of this helpful, please hit that subscribe button. All right, have a fantastic day.